Didn't see Ward Churchill. Last night was just your ordinary average TUSD board meeting. No, 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 not that kind of normal. I hope we never go back there. But this kind of normal, a police presence, all of the TV stations, live vans parked up front, and the students that call themselves Unidos were there, taking turns one by one on the megaphone, claiming once again that they acted alone on April 26th without any adult help. I guess they didn't see my last video. It was after we got wanded and went inside that the excitement started. And even then, it wasn't until the end of the public comment period. Board President Dr. Mark Stegman decided to extend the public comment period to hear from those who wanted to speak on the current agenda items and those that they have never heard from before on ethnic studies. Board member Judy Burns took offense and actually left the board meeting. She's not the only one who objected. Someone in the audience, one of the three Sonorans, David Abbey Morales, spoke up. Well, I think it made sense. To... No, it doesn't. You're giving the right wing. Okay. A couple of speakers later, board member Miguel Cuevas also left. The act of the disappearing board members didn't escape the attention of the audience. Stegman and surviving members of the board. <laughs> and board members that did stick around got to hear from John Munger, a former gubernatorial candidate and upstanding member of the community. And this is what the books say. The books are not about history. The books are not about ethnicity. The books teach two major themes. The two themes they teach is first, the books are classical showpieces of Marxist-oriented indoctrination. They are about political oppression, incessant deprecation of anything not Chicano, including the U.S. Constitution, capitalism, and anything European or of European culture. That's what the books say. Second of all, they teach students that they are oppressed, that they are principally not American but are Chicano, should not join in American society, but should separate themselves ultimately in an area called Atzlan, which is an area of the U.S. now that can, can, makes up California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, which has been stolen from the Europeans, by the Europeans. Lisa Ruth used to teach at TUSD. And I support wholeheartedly what John Munger just expressed. I would also like to say that Dr. King said well over four decades ago that a man is to be judged on the content of his character, not by the color of his skin. Why in the world would we entertain a subject matter that reverts back into a place and time that discourages us to look at where we have moved beyond from? It was during the next speaker that board member Adelita Grijalva had heard enough dissension against ethnic studies. This, I, I, I think that was more of a point out of order. After the extended public comment period ended, the pouting board members returned to the boardroom and the rest of the board meeting went off without a hitch. I think I'm going to judge this board meeting by the content of its character.